Oh, so I was planning to go on a camping today, guys. I even brought my monster truck here and my van. But now, there has been some interesting news in our village today because there has been a flood and there was a big ferry with many cars and sports cars and even airplanes that started to sink right now. And we are going to rescue them today, guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Nikos Farming here. And right now, we have to take our monster truck together with my camping van so that we will go camping first. And after that, we will save the people from the ferry because it's, because we are working in a rescue team and we need to save out those people, guys. And not also the people, but the expensive cars and airplanes that are on that ferry that is sinking right now. And the sinking ferry is located close to the river and we just have to get to the river as fast as possible right now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And you might ask me, like, Vlad, uh, Nikas, why are you going there with your, with your monster truck and with your house? You're gonna get much slower there. It's gonna take more time. But the thing is, guys, I'm gonna tell you that my monster truck has so much horsepower that it goes with the same speed as it would go without the house. So why just not use it with, with us and just go with it? We just go on and uh, come to that lake right now because the people are waiting for us and not also are they gonna see our monster truck, but also they will see our house. This is actually the biggest house I've ever been transported. Oh, 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 we have to be more careful here. Oh shoot, guys, we just retarded, reversed. Oh my gosh, we have to be more careful here because we don't want to get this house flooded as well and not to rescue other people here. Let's be more careful, guys. We have to reverse like that and go to the other direction here. Okay, so the thing is that our monster truck goes with the same speed with this house and this is the biggest house I've been transporting as a trailer ever because the only bigger thing that I've been transporting is the house truck, as you remember from the last episode, the white house truck and the black one, but they are supposed to be transported with the car. But this house is not meant to be transported with the monster truck. As you can see, it is really, it's too big just for riding on this road. So, oh my gosh, you, just, you can just get flooded in that river so easily and the cars are just getting crashed all the time. This is why the people living in these houses and in these gas stations don't like me ever. Because sometimes I go for a picnic, I go for camping, and they always see my house and they're like, man, why the hell do you want to live in this house when you have your own mansion in the village? So they're always shocked of me. But this is my life and I just do what I want to. Let's just be more careful right here. And this is the river. We actually came here already. And the thing is that we cannot cross it right now with our truck because the bridge is blocked. The bridge is really, really hard to to come through because our house is too big, as I said, as I told you before, and we have just to cross the river by ourselves and go to the camping. So this is the camping site. As you can see, there, there is a lot of place to camp. The mountains, look at them. They're just so beautiful here. And this, so we have the green tents. We have the yellow tents as well. There are no people, as you can understand why there are no people, because everybody's being getting flooded right now in the river. I cannot actually see the ferry right now. We should also find it. It should be somewhere deep down the closer to the mountains right here so we should just go and visit our ferry the ferry is located right there on the shore and yeah everybody just so the situation is like that the notification i got from my boss in order to rescue the people was like this the situation is the people were camping here they were situated in this big yellow and green tents and they all went on a ferry in their cars and airplanes the ferry was loaded with them they go f they went for swimming and now they're just flooded, they're stuck in the river, there's a big hole in their ferry, and they can just not get out of it. So the thing is, there is our ferry, we're going to use it right now, I just pawned it right here, because I could not use it anywhere else, only on this river. I think this ferry is going to be pretty much enough, the big size, it's approximately the same size as the ferry that just departed, it has a big flooding hole. And uh, let's just go there and uh, see where the people are. We have to reverse our ferry a little bit to the left and just go to the right side. As far as I remember, the ferry last seen was on the right side of the river, like closer to that house, closer to that city where the mountains are. I think the people wanted to see that well, that city much closer and they just came too close to the stones probably. And this is why they got flooded. Oh no, the ferry is on, the, on that side, as you can see. Wow, why haven't we seen it before? Do you remember when we came here on the river, there was no other ferries besides of our ferry? That's pretty strange. Maybe they have just come like a couple of minutes ago. So that means that the ferry is still alive and it can move. 
but we have to get closer to them in order to save all the cars and all the people sitting inside the cars. Hey people, hello, are you right there? Yes, there are some people, there are minivans, there's an airplane, there's a sports car, there's a blue Lambo. No way, it's like the same Lambo that I had in a previous episode. The Lambo is like flooded, look at that. Yeah, there, there, there's, there are some people inside and just, just stay inside the cars, people. Just don't move yourself. We move you just like that into our ferry and you will be safe guys the blue lambo comes as the second one have to be really careful with that expensive car that's good oh there's even a more whoa, 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 whoa what is happening what is happening was there like a bit whoa what happened no way no way the airplane just crashed into the water let's just rescue it really fast there are the people inside whoa 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 we have to be more careful right here guys just move it like that into our ferry beautiful that is beautiful the next step is our motorbike, the motorcycle. There are no people sitting on it, hopefully, because uh, otherwise the people would get flooded right here. I think just some problem occurred with that ferry and there was a much bigger hole right now that, look, that was this located inside the ferry. And this is why we just jump like that. Okay, this is the most hardest part here. Uh, we have to move the pickup truck like some, somehow inside here. There's pretty much enough, enough space in it. So the other rescue team is going to save the ferry right now and the ferry captain. But our goal is it right now to come back to the shore with all the transport we just saved. Oh, we have to be really careful. That pickup truck is too big. It's even bigger than the airplane and the Lambo combined. Oh my gosh. The pickups as always are too big. I would even think like, I would even guess, would my monster truck fit inside this ferry? What do you think guys? Write below in the comments what do you think about it. I think the monster truck would fit but only as one car and maybe like one pickup and one monster truck would only fit inside this ferry because the ferry is not big enough for our huge monster truck. But if it would put our house inside, it would not fit at all, definitely. The ferry is not meant for that. Like you live on a ferry and in a house together. That would be really, really interesting. Okay, so here we come to the shore right now. 